Dennis Pivak is one of the new slot machine champions. Only 17, he regularly comes close to burning out the computer boards. Dennis, you seem to play these machines um, fairly well. How come? Well, I've had a lot of practice, quite a bit. How long have you been playing? For about a year now. About a year. Two or three times a week. Are you a fanatic on these machines? Um, well, you could probably say that, yeah. I do like playing them. They're an exciting game. It's a pleasure to me. The game's quite, quite a um, exciting game to play. It's... How long can you keep going for your 20 cents? Oh, anywhere half an hour to an hour. People who make these machines wouldn't be too happy with people playing for half an hour for 20 cents. No, they wouldn't be. When they first came out, they were um, could only stay two or three minutes on the game. But as people got better, the time got longer. I don't think they anticipated that. No longer are Space Invader machines found only in amusement arcades. Cinemas now want their share of the attraction. This into space travel's a thing, Tom. Yeah. How come Kerry Jodian have now got these in their cinemas? Well, the company's in the entertainment business, and this is another form of entertainment. And it means that uh, while the people are waiting to go to the movies, they can play Space Invaders and instead of just sitting around doing nothing. What's the chance that they'll come in just to play Space Invaders and not to see your films? Well, we don't find that, but we do find that people come in uh, during the day and actually play Space Invaders while they're waiting for the bus outside. The Space Invader craze started in Japan a few years ago. Now the machines are made in New Zealand, with about 40 being turned out a week. They can cost three and a half thousand dollars each, which still doesn't stop some people buying them for home use. Generally, a commercial operator expects to get his money back within six months. The machines have all the sophistication of a small computer, and initially there were problems in making them here. Just getting the necessary software or the programs that makes all the difference. The uh, computer technology used in it is available in New Zealand, but it's the, the actual program of Space Invaders is the uh, critical thing. And they're not just sold locally, are they? No, they're exported to Australia as well. Do you think the popularity of Space Invaders has peaked? No, I think it's still on the upward trend, um, but there's lots of new games coming out to succeed Space Invaders. Young people are the game's biggest followers, and all you need is a pocket full of money to stage your own Star Wars. Unfortunately, some space travellers will do almost anything to get money to play the machines. We have found that children that are stealing money are spending them on Space Invaders. How much money would some of these kids actually steal? We've had one case recently where a child has spent about $267 on these machines but usually it's smaller amounts, milk money and petty stealing from cars. Do you think in any way that operators of these machines are in any way responsible? As long as they're aware of the children that come in and if children are there when, at times when they shouldn't be there that they contact the police or make some inquiry. In the last year, many kids have become extremely skillful playing space-age slot machines. Some can play for two hours for one 20 cent piece, and it would seem the days of the space invader craze are almost over. Almost, but not quite. Manufacturers have been quite concerned that kids are starting to master these bits of technology. So they've decided to make things more difficult by introducing a much more complicated game, Galaxy Raiders, which takes a lot more skill and is guaranteed to stop anyone playing for half an hour for one 20 cent piece. Oh, and one other small thing, just to give the manufacturers a slight edge, in future, instead of 20 cents, it will cost you 40 cents. So you see, we Earthlings can never win.